time for the bell. How many options will you sell? Fire up your platform, get ready to enter. But first, let's get the mindset centered. Hey, hey, let's go. We're not here to gamble, we're here to trade. We follow the plan, that's how we get paid. Testing, trading, have success. Find what works for you and forget the rest. Stats and probabilities is what we're about. Time to dismiss greed and doubt. Focus on the process, not the money. And the profits will flow like honey. Power our live, let's start the show. Come on, trade hackers, get ready to go. Zero day options, time to make bank. Get locked and loaded, then be ready to plank. Hey! Hey everyone, welcome to Power Hour Live, March 11th, Monday. And a glorious Monday it is. We have had a pretty tight range here. Got down. I actually got flushed out of my two uh, challenge portfolio re-entries right down here at the bottom. But other than that, those were my only two losses. So my challenge portfolio, fighting and clawing back. Still down a little bit in that one on my um, on my other account. No losers. Uh, JSP's hit 50%. AM ratio, 50%. My 945 hit 40% and then stopped out for a profit at 55%. All of my 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 quiet midday tranches hit 40%. Uh, my NDX is up a little over 50. Then I sprinkled in a few other little just price action trades that are that I've closed half of. So good stuff so far. Nice. All the TLC crew having fun today? Yeah, so pretty good day. Really um, unfortunate for me, my very first one of the day. Uh, and I posted in my channel in that channel, it said, you know, don't take the strikes I just took because when it got filled, literally it pushed up like six or seven points right after the fill in the same five minute bar. And so, um, then I ended up stopping me out just barely. And as soon as I got stopped, you know, later on in the morning, it came immediately down. So just a bad luck there, but it was a full loss. Other than that, everything's been great so far. Gotcha. But just that one put me in the hole right off the bat. Just thought I waited two more minutes to place the trade. That would have been fine. Gotcha. Just, it happens sometimes. SPX pushing right up to yesterday's close or Friday's close. Staying red for now. Yeah, I did not put on a Wuga. I just posted because um, I actually I had conflicting strikes, so it did not trigger. Yeah, same good. here. Same here. So it's a normal day for me. No up day, no down day. So I'm going to be just, I might throw on a discretionary power hour trade, but no, uh, not my normal three tranches. Got the S&P down four, NASDAQ down 49, Russell down 14, Dow slightly green, gold and silver a little bit mixed, notes and bonds red, 10-year yield up a bit, oil pretty flat, natty gas down two, grains mixed, euro in the pound red, Bitcoin new all-time highs, 73,500. Wow. So here are my remaining re-entries. And then on my challenge portfolio, I've got this between the two.
think I will, I'm going to add another little power hour here. Got in at the uh, 10 puts, 20 calls, one-to-one, -one, just adding some more exposure right here at this level. My, my power hour number one is looking good. Oh, I'm sorry. I read that wrong. Uh, yeah, 20 puts, 25 calls. Sorry, I'm not sure what I was looking at. Build at 630. I thought that seemed a little wide. I thought I should be getting five wide. Check out what's going on in Stockland, MRNA up 10%. So you got something approved. Zoom up 4%. Baidu up 3.5%. Tesla, a little bounce up almost 2%. Plug power down eight, Jumia down eight, SMCI down four and a half. So looks like semi is getting hit today. Meta down four, AMD down four. NVIDIA down one. Um, I'm definitely going to close part because I, I put them on big anticipating we might get a little profit pop by the end of the day with CPI tomorrow, but did not happen. So I'm going to definitely going to reduce my size. Alex already hitting 20% on power hour. Nice. Close in half of one of my challenge re entries. My power hour is pretty centered, so I'm not going to add anything right now. I need about 20 cents to get. Rita, half my contracts. Steve, do you remember who was posting in the community over the weekend about doing oh, a zero DTE iron condor one contract, putting it on to start and then leaving it all day? I don't think I saw that. Okay. 
I swear somebody put an uh, option Omega back test. Just one contract. Are, are you becoming a back tester? <laughs> uh, I read them all the time. <laughs> but I, I did what the, I remember what it said. I put the, I put the trade on because it's, it's really low risk, right? It's one contract. And gotcha. it's currently, yeah, I don't remember. Yeah, saying I put, it. yeah, I put it on at six, it's uh, six dollars 85 cents, and it's currently at 65 cents. Nice. No stops. Oh, no, I got filled 20% on power hour number one. Was that morning when you were talking about? Is that no stop? Uh, no, it had a stop, like a seventy-five percent trailing stop. It, it, it just didn't have profit targets to meet along the way. Like you left it on, so it's either going to expire or it hits your stop. Hmm. I'm surprised and with that down move, you didn't get hit. Yeah, I didn't. So my, both my three two and my one one. That I that I entered at the open got smoked out right at the bottom. Those were let's see, I had a uh, my three two had a twelve dollar stop. My other one had a uh, five dollar. So yeah, might have been a little bit tighter. <clears throat> yeah, it was fifty one thirty five. It was fifty points wide. Yeah, those premiums were juicy at the open. It just it made when I read the back test, I was like, that makes a lot of sense. So on this on this one, it's like if I got stopped out, I just, just I would be like a five hundred dollar loss. Yeah, my three two AM ratio, Elliot with the uh, twenty dollar stop, that one survived, hit fifty. It was just my uh, my challenge portfolio ones. Those wouldn't have got stopped out. It would have been a really nice day. I mean, I swear I saw it in the community. Maybe I was dreaming it. I don't know. <laughs> I've done that. SPX does not want to go green yet. My NDX is in the upper half of the range, but still got a lot of, a lot of room to roam. So far, so good. It's a little bit red last week between all the all the days, but it's been a positive performer. Yeah, a lot of times before a big event like a CPI or FOMC, those one, two, and one, three double calendars will 
those are the, those are some of the times you can take those off for 10% the same day, but not today. My one, two is down about 8%. My one, three is down about seven. So I'm going to shed, shed some of those by the end of the day. I had a feeling that Wuga was going to do good today just with the price action. Yeah, my three five, three six, three seven, they all came off for about well, I can't remember exactly, but nice profits. Eight to ten percent each, I think. Did not do the four five. Close half my power hour at 20% here. Nice, Jay Russell. Got some short premium in gold. Not much profit there yet. Put on a new MES short strangle today. Natty gas is down a few percent. We've adjusted that one a couple of times. It's a little, little left of center now. Corn, little right of center. The other MES. Oh, took the other MES off that was under 40 days. And then this one is a little right of center. Needed a day like today after Friday's debauchery. Yes. Yep. Mine isn't going to be the best, but it'll be, it'll still be. Green, which is all I care about after Friday, it, that that first trade I was telling you about when we first went live here it was just just bad luck. I started out in the hole two grand because of that full stop. It's a bummer. At the money, at the money butterflies only trading for about a buck fifteen. It looks like. With this uh, contracting volatility and kind of narrow price range, I thought we might have a chance at some two dollar butterflies at the end of the day, but not sure it's going to get there. We'll see. Still could. Yeah. See. Wuga saw it too. I wasn't seeing things. 
Maybe we'll you guys had the same that dream. Back, that back test. <laughs> I knew I saw it. I just got filled on, let's see, what would that be? 60% of lunchtime number one. So look at some 60% today. It's always good. Yeah. Quanteo on his first Wooga. Good luck, Quanteo. I think today's a good one to... Good one to do. I would have done it if my strikes weren't already taken by a power yep. hour trade. Let's see if I can book 80% on this one. Just the first flush, and then just pretty methodical stair-stepping grinding higher. The Dow, Dow is green, but the other three still still red. The uh, index futures did roll over to the June cycle over the weekend. So if you think the... Uh, Price looking at your chart of the continuous contract looked a little goofy. That's why. No new all time highs today. Took a break from all time highs. Yeah. Hey, filled on 40% of my power hour. Nice. Are, are looking good. We do have CPI tomorrow morning pre-market. Also a 10-year bond auction at noon. Wednesday, 30-year bond auction at noon. Central time. Thursday, PPI pre-market and retail sales and unemployment claims. So my NDX profit target's at 20 cents. Let's see if that hits today.
Oh, nice, Wuga. Thanks for thanks for sharing. Thank you, Crane. Did anyone put on the one DTE today? I meant to I meant to uh enter a theoretical position so I could watch the theta decay, see how CPI day treated it. How's it going, Alex? 17%. And if so, it's up seventeen percent. But where is it in your structure? Is it fairly centered? Is it off to the side a bit? Dead center? Oh yeah, yeah. That was that was the reason I did do it because those one day options are stay in bed with CPI tomorrow. Um, yeah, MRP. That's I think that's pretty sure that's what I'm. I was talking about one contract, same stop loss. And stop loss adjustments, uh, one contract, take all rate exploration if expiration if not stopped out. Yeah, that's it. Was that you, MRP, that brought that up? Yeah, I probably won't do a one DTE um, Wednesday either because of PPI. PPI, CPI, and FOMC are kind of the three days that I have decided to blacklist that one. I actually don't think I've updated my back test yet, but. SPX getting a little pullback. Yeah. Kind of opens the door maybe for the 5120 straddle, maybe for power hour two. Let me take a look at that. Twenty five cent is hit. I got mine at twenty. Yeah, it's interesting. Sometimes there's some takers for 20, 25 cents, and sometimes there's just not. I don't think I want that 5120 straddle. My NDX comes down another 20 points. Should hit. I'll be dead center. I am a little bit off centered here on my power hour number one. So, but
Haven't had a whole lot of opportunities, Alex. Like today, I was just checking the 115 flies only trading for about a buck 20 right now. So just have not had the opportunity to, to get $2 in credit at the end of the day, very unless you waited to like five minutes before. I prefer to get filled, you know, 10 minutes or more before the bell, before the MOC number comes out. I really, I figured it on a day like today, if you have wild price movement, like we did Friday, there's going to be no chance of getting a decent credit. But on a day like today, usually you'll start seeing, um, you know, $2 credit by, you know, 15 minutes until the bell, sometimes even as early as 20 minutes till, but not today. Still showing about an eight point expected move. Yeah, it might just be rolling with one power hour today. It's just don't like just thinking premium. about adding another one. Where are you? Where are you gonna do it on? I was looking at the 2015s, but now it's jumping up, so it might be the 20 straddle. Yeah, I was looking at the 2015s and the premium was low. You're looking at the 20 straddle. Let's see where this thing settles in. It's going to be kind of like my tranche three. I'm going to go in at a 2015. Well, at 440. That was the 20 straddle you said? No, 2015. Okay. It's going to be below your threshold for premium. Yeah. Yeah. I already looked at it. All right, just want to add a little bit more in here. It's about my normal tranche three time. Yeah, the only one I would get in on would be the 20 straddle. Fifty one twenty is the sweet spot.
challenge portfolios clawed back from a $5,000 deficit to start the day with those two stop outs. Back in the green. Nice. What did you say your sweet spot was? Uh, 20, 51, 20. Gotcha. Yeah, I got Phil on the 51-20 straddle, 30 points wide. So I said I had time to post it, but I just got filled here a second ago, 685. Yeah, so Chad, price was at 15, but you took the 20 straddle. Just wanted a little upside bias. Yeah, I wanted a little upside bias. I also, I didn't think it would come down below that last green bar. It's come down a little further than I would have liked, but I did, I did, I did want a little bit of upside bias, but not quite that much. See Daedalus if closing remaining contracts. I'm gonna have to process that. Uh, trying to figure out what you're asking me here, Daedalus. I usually I usually close it at sixty unless it's sitting pretty centered, and then I'll let it go and hit eighty. So Chad, what did, what do you decide on your? You mentioned, you know, trying to figure out a little bit something different about risk management based on what happened to Friday. Any yeah, any so, changes? Yeah, I'm thinking, uh, you know, as far as like a drawback, like three percent, three to five percent, right in there. If I hit the three to five percent drawback, then I'm probably shutting it down. Gotcha. You know, to me, I just got, I started punching the numbers and looking like, well, you know, that's a pretty, a three to 5%. That's a pretty easy, you know, that's pretty, you can, I can recoup that much easier than trying to, to recoup, you know, something bigger. Gotcha. So, I mean, I think everybody probably should, have you know what they feel like is a percentage that they could that they want to stop because it just gets easier to recoup those when they're not quite so big right uh, i just hit what did i hit there It's sixty percent on my power hour. Number one.
Wooga, 50%. Nice, Alex. Juanteo, did your first Wooga hit? Nice. Feels good to get that first Wooga under your belt. Okay, some people are not even close. Yeah, that one, that one strike width can make a big difference. Yeah, if you get in early, it's a woogoo, as Dick K likes to call it. Dick K's on vacation, so we can talk about him behind his back today. I'm going to win every bet I make today. I think so out for dollar. I mean if I if I can make the bet then just Dick K doesn't get to choose what his choice is. I think I got pretty good odds. Twenty four minutes to go. At the money flies, we're only trading for about a buck thirty, buck forty. Price to hold there, maybe come up to about, well, I guess I'm with you. 5120 is a sweet spot.
Nah. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Yeah, we don't need any. Don't don't need this. We don't need any uh, big red bars. Just a little pop back up. What's the uh, sweet spot for the Wooga? Looks like we had some 2025s for the most part, some 1525s, 2025s. I need a little bounce here. For this straddle. Twenty minutes to go. There we go. It's the bounce I needed. Out of half. So filled at 20%. I should be getting filled on half of my late power hour. Got in at 450. I just put a target at three bucks. It's dancing around three bucks. There we go. Oh no, what was that? Was it my power hour? Actually, don't know what that was that just closed. <laughs> Love it. It's one contract. Is it the twenty? Is the oh. twenty calls ten puts? 
but I don't know. <laughs> That's well, when you know you got too much on. <laughs> and let's see, just hit 80%. Oh, yeah, that's what it was too. I had I hit an eighty percenter, eighty percent out. Beautiful, you did that. Yeah, it's a nice little bounce. Right. Entries need to stay below 20. Yeah, just, just sit at 20, man. That's all we need. That's plenty of bounce. NDX still didn't fill it 20 cents yet. My, uh, my lunchtime number one last contract, I think is going to, Settle at zero. It's going to be able to expire worthless. Got to close some of my double calendars. All right. Wouldn't mind a little little bit of a pullback here. Yeah, just stay right at fifty one twenty. Twenty butterflies trading at about a dollar sixty.
A lot of profit targets getting hit in the Dr. Chad channel today. Love to see it. Yeah. Yeah, that's awesome. <clears throat> Moving around a little bit too much. Come on. These straddles, I don't like them. When we get down to less than 15 minutes. Yeah, I got quite a few things on here. I need to start shedding. There we go. And yeah, they can just go south really quick when you're in these straddles. I was kind of hoping it'd stay up close to 5120. Don't need to get any lower. Out of half, I would like to get out of 40% of this. A couple contracts on the 1520. It's a little bit longer. like a lot of theta left for 10 minutes to go. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. I don't like this down move. Vic's coming up. Let the money fly. 115 trading for about a dollar 70 maybe. Stay up there. But if I take a lot, if I get stopped, it's pretty much a scratch trade. So I like to hit my 40% with a little bounce here. Or 35 million to the buy side was the FOMC or <laughs> FOMC was the MOC. All right, so I got out of that. So I could do a Magic Mahomes if I can get filled for a good price. Come on, give me a bounce. Trying to get filled on the 15 fly. <clears throat> Sitting right at the strike. Phil, at two bucks. Wouldn't take much more of a bounce to get out of 40% of this, this straddle. Mm, darn it.
Let's get out of my one of my re-entries. All right, so then I need to put in my puts. All right, so I need a little move, a little movement now I'll take for my Mahomes. A little shake and bake. Yep. Need a little pop back up. I definitely don't like taking straddles to the bell. No, I don't. I just get that. That was about five minutes till. Yeah, unless they're like close to a pin. All right, out of my last challenge portfolio trade two, I'll get there. So all I have left is my Mr. Mahomes. I need a push down to 51.10 or a push up. Andy X filled at 10 cents. Push up, push up. I mean, closed bell. it. Yeah, I closed my my straddle out at seven thirty, so booked a little bit of a profit. So I am out of both. I need a little uh, push down to fifty one ten to get my call vertical filled. So four hundred fifty dollar profit. On power hour number two. Anybody else in the end of day fly with me? It's back up to 15. Yeah. That's the bounce I needed five minutes earlier. <laughs> Good day, though. Little move away from 15. Four minutes to go. Yeah, I'm on the 15 fly. Yep. Forty three ninety five. I will take that after uh, a, a full loss on my first trade of the day. Nice. All 
All right, three minutes. Going to need some last-minute magic. Let me guess. It's going to push up to 5120. I would have had a pin. My put vertical is trading for about two bucks. Two and a half, two minutes to go. Get up there. Give me that dollar. Oh my gosh! It, well, I would I would have almost hit a pin. Darn it! <laughs> I knew it would do that. You're welcome. Get on up. Couple more points. If my vertical doesn't fill, I need to be above fifty one eighteen to profit. One more little push. One minute to go. Thirty seconds. Can we get one more little uh well oomph? Yeah, get up there to fifty one twenty would have been a pin. Wow, I left a few thousand dollars on the board. I left some money out there. Wow. Not filling for a buck yet. Still looks like it's trading at about a buck forty. And there's the bell. And it looks like it might be an exact scratch. 51, 17, 99. Mm, darn it. Yeah, I left about pretty much four grand on the board. Pretty much a scratch. All right, all. Have a good night. Let's see. We got uh, nice Elliot, 16K for the day. And let's see where I end up. 14 in that account, about two there. So yeah, I'm, I'm about right there with you. Nice. Uh, for live stream tomorrow, Chad will be streaming in the morning for Mighty 90 and Runners, and then we will be back for Power Hour. All right, all. Take care. Have a good night. Cheers.